Let's take a look at moving the mouse with controller support. All right, so how do we do this? Well, to get started, all I have for my scene is just a control node and I have a button in here, so I could hover over it. We can see everything works. And my script is on my control. Doesn't really matter where you put it, but here we go. So inside of the script in order to create this, now it doesn't really matter which, what controller you use. Um, we're going to be using the joysticks to move it. And um, I'll show you how to determine whether it's a left stick or right stick. That way it's completely up to you. Most of you will probably want the right stick, however. All right, so we're going to need three variables here. It's going to be our sensitivity and one for the X axis and one for the Y axis. Whoops. All right, so go ahead and create those three. All three of those are going to be float sensitivity. Um, I would probably recommend starting at 600. 300 is pretty slow, so you'll probably want 600 higher. And then of course, of course, uh, expose this to the user, maybe divide that by 100. So this might be a sensitivity of six. And then in your code here, you use 600. All right. And we're going to use two functions for this. We're going to use our input function to actually determine if we're using our controllers and our joysticks and then use that to set our axis. And then we'll use the actual process function for moving the mouse based on that. All right, so let's go ahead. We can create the input function, All right? Whoops. Not in it. We don't want to initialize. We want input. There we go. And like I said, we want to determine if we're using our controller. So we'll start with if event is input event joypad. Joypad motion. Now joypad motion is going to detect your analog sticks and your triggers, I believe. Now, what's important to note here is we're going to use two numbers. And these numbers are important to determine which stick we're using. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and put these in and you'll see we're using two and three here. So two is going to be the X axis. So that's going to be your horizontal of your right stick and uh, the Y axis, as you're seeing down there, the event axis, if that's three, that's going to be the vertical of your right stick. Now, if you wanted to use this for your left stick, then you would simply just use zero for, for the X and one for the Y. All right. Hopefully that makes sense. And if we want, we can go ahead and print out that value at the end here. Print. In fact, we'll even do the double T print and we can print out the X axis and Y axis. So if we were to run that and start moving our right stick, you can see there's our values coming in there. All right. So if you want, you can go ahead and take a look at what that looks like. And if you're getting these numbers printed out when you move your right stick, perfect. Then everything should be set up correctly and ready for us to start moving our mouse. Let's move on to our process function. Oops. There we go. So in our process function, um, we're going to need to do a few things. If you want to be able to uh, separate maybe your mouse from the controller, then if you want, you could have an if input event join motion. It doesn't matter too much if you don't have it, but depending on your setup, you may need or want it on your own. 
So I'm just going to go ahead and put that in there. So if we're pressing our buttons on our controller, and if the X axis or Y axis is not equal to zero, so if we're moving our stick, then we're going to go ahead and get our mouse, right? Just simply storing our mouse position into a variable. Uh, get viewport dot get mouse position. Oops. All right, and once we have that mouse position, we can go ahead and get our new mouse position. I'll go ahead and click distraction free so you can see the whole line. And that new mouse position is just going to be our current mouse position plus a vector two of our X axis and Y axis. And we multiply that by our sensitivity and multiply by Delta. So we now have our new position our new mouse position going on here. And all that's left is to actually move the mouse. Now, if you don't know how to move the mouse, there is a function inside of the input class called warp underscore mouse. And this allows you to move the mouse to a new position. Now, in our case, we're going to use warp mouse and we're going to pass in our new mouse position. And that's it. That's all we have to do. So if we go ahead and run this and you start using your left or sorry, right stick. There you go. You can see it moving all along perfectly fine, nice and smooth. And as I was saying uh, earlier, if you wanted to, you could swap these numbers two and three. If you really wanted to, for whatever reason, to use zero and one. And your right stick would no longer work, but it would now work with your left stick. All right, so zero and one for your left stick, two and three for the right stick. And that's it. That's all we need to do to have this smooth motion. If you want to control the mouse uh, with your controller. All right. So that'll do it here. Just going to switch these numbers back. That's all we need to do. And that's it. Take care. Uh, have yourselves a good one. And I'll see you guys next time.